Okay, so I'm here back in my My Designs account where we're going to start creating our different uh, ratios for our Etsy listings. Now that we've created all of our file slots ready to go, the next thing we're going to need to do is create a canvas for each different ratio. So um, making sure that we've got the two by three ratio selected. Let's go on over to Canvas and also making sure that we've got all of our listings selected here. So all six of them are selected. Let's go on over to Canvas. Now here is where we are going to create our different sizes. So where it's got input file slot, we are going to make sure that we have got the two by three ratio selected. And our new output file slot is going to be our new ratio. So the next ratio is our three by four ratio. Now, in the intro video of this module, you'll know that our three by four ratio, 5,400 for the width, and we want our height to be 7,200. Very good. So then what we need to do is we need to make sure that this fits within our frame. So as you can see here, it's not quite fitting. And what I like to do is I like to use either the fit vertical or I like to use the fit horizontal to make sure that our artwork shrinks um, as it needs to. So let's go to fit vertical and you're going to see that there's a gap here. So we want to make sure that it expands. So let's go to fit horizontal perfect and as you can see here it's not quite centered so let's go to the align center button and then that's going to align our artwork into um, our canvas okay when you're happy with the way that that looks all you need to do is go to the sync button and then that's going to sync all of our artwork across the board so to make sure that that's all looking okay what we can do is use these arrow buttons to have a look at all of our different listings very good so there's our giraffe looking good our lion our rhinoceros our tiger and our zebra perfect so once you're happy with the way that that all works within our canvas size all you need to do is go to the apply button and so with just a couple of clicks we have now created a brand new um, art size for our designs. You're going to see them process right here. Once that's processed, you can go ahead and click on it and then you can view the three by four ratio. Okay, so the three by four ratio for each of the designs. Okay, so once you're happy with all of that, you're going to see them process. Once they're all finished, let's go ahead and create the four by five ratio. So go on over to Canvas again. Let's go to our main file slot is the 2 by 3. We're going to go to our 4 by 5 ratio. Untick keep aspect ratio. The width for our 4 by 5 is 4,800. And our height is 6,000. So you can see this is um, a bit wider. So... Um, we're going to have to make sure that that fits within our design. So let's go on over and go to fit vertically. So you're going to see this is going to leave a gap here on the side. So what we will try and do is go fit horizontally. And then what we want to do is we want to align center. Perfect. So remember how when we were creating our initial designs, we wanted to make sure that we had a border on the left and the right and the top and the bottom to make sure that when we are resizing our documents, that we, we would make sure that they would fit within our design. Okay. So once you're happy with that, go ahead and click the sync button. Then go on over and just check to make sure that these all fit within our artwork or our canvas. Perfect. It's just sitting right. Okay, so once you're happy with that, make sure you go to the apply button to apply all of these um, designs in our new Canvas system. And then once that's all processed, so we've got processing here, we've got three, two, one, all processed. Now we can create our ISO. So here is our last file slot. So let's go on over to the Canvas button again. We are going to go to two by three. We are going to select ISO. We are going to unclick keep aspect ratio. Our width for our ISO is going to be 7016 pixels by 9933 pixels. Very good. Let's go to fit horizontally and go to align center. 
click the sync button and then just go make sure that that all looks right. Perfect. Okay, go to apply and then it's going to process all of these artworks. And then essentially when that is done, you've got all of the artworks. So all of the different ratios, the four different ratios for each individual design that you have created, all in a couple of clicks. If you were to do this um, manually, it would just take so much more time, especially if you've got multiple, like, let's say you had, you know, 20 different artworks that you wanted to do this with. You can see how my designs is just going to shave off so much of your processing times in actually creating the artworks ready for sale. Okay. So essentially you've got everything that you need to actually sell these documents to your customers. But the great thing about my designs is that it also helps you to create your mock-ups and mock-ups are what's going to make your artworks absolutely shine in the Etsy marketplace. Okay, so in the next uh, module and the next tutorials, I'm going to share with you how you can create your mock-ups to get your Etsy listings ready to go. Okay, I will catch you in the next video.